A 12-story oceanfront building partly collapsed in Miami early Thursday morning. Tragically, many people are still missing and some have already been found dead. In the media, we can read that the building roof was being redone. I will in this video discuss the most likely reason why this could go so wrong. Buildings with several stories does not just collapse in the US. So, first we need to understand something called robustness. For buildings, this means that if one wall fails, then the failure stops at the one wall and will not cause a failure of the entire building. One could say that the opposite to robustness is dominoes. In dominoes, if one piece falls, then they all fall, one by one. Unless if you remove the key domino. If this one domino is removed, failure will stop and the dominoes is robust. Due to domino type failures in buildings in the 1960s and 70s, a requirement to construct buildings robust was added to the US codes and standards for how to design buildings in the early 1980s. You can read about the requirement on the nist.gov webpage. I have added a link in the video description. The requirement in the US building code is to prevent an initial local failure from spreading progressively and lead to a total collapse. Or, in other words, the building shall be robust. So, why is this important to the Miami building collapse? That is since this building was completed in 1981 and was very likely designed according to the old building code that did not require buildings to be robust. The cause as to why the building collapsed in the first place will likely not be known for some time. But the reason it could go so wrong is very likely that it was designed in the 1970s before robustness requirement was implemented in the US. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching.